Google Slides or PowerPoint? The choice really is yours. This tutorial is to show you how to download a Google Slide into a PowerPoint and then how to share a PowerPoint via Microsoft Teams. Now we all know that Google Slides and PowerPoint are great tools for educators to use to educate their students and to provide instructions and lessons. Some school districts prefer PowerPoint, others prefer Google Slides. So what do you do if you're a Google Slides person and not a PowerPoint person? Well, no problem. You can take your Google Slides and download them right into a PowerPoint presentation. So let's get started. There's a couple simple steps to downloading your slideshow into a PowerPoint. The first thing you're going to do, of course, is open up your Google Slides. So when you have your Google Slide show open, come over here to the left-hand side at the top and look for File. Click File, scroll down to the Download option, and you will see you have a multitude of options to download your slideshow into, but of course, we are looking for PowerPoint. So click PowerPoint, and this will download easily either onto your desktop or wherever your downloadable files save to. Mine typically save to my desktop so I can find them and then put them where I want them to go. So now that I have my slideshow downloaded into a PowerPoint, let's pull it up and see what it looks like. We do know that some of the fonts and some of the graphics, some of the transitions won't transfer over from slides to PowerPoint. That's okay. Just make adjustments as you see fit. Now, when you are presenting to Microsoft Teams, this can be done as a presenter. Most presenters will just share their screen. However, the problem is when you share your screen, there are some distractions. If you look at my screen here, you'll see there's the ribbon, there's the slides on the side, and you don't want to show this when you are sharing in Microsoft Teams. So here we are in Microsoft Teams and I'm going to X out of here. And now when you share your screen, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can share. If I just click my desktop window and then I go to my application window, I find my PowerPoint and I click share, what's going to happen is I'm going to lose my participants. I can't see my participants. I can't see the chat and it just doesn't make for good collaboration and it can get a, a little dicey. So you see some of the distractions here. Everyone sees the ribbon and the slides on the side. And if you want to present in presenter mode, you have to click. And then again, you can't see your participants. So how do you solve that? It is a simple fix. So I'm going to exit out of this. When you go to share, again, come to the open share tray. When you open that up, it'll automatically give you an option for PowerPoint. So if you know which PowerPoint you want to share, you just click on it. If you're not sure, because for me right now, you can see I have a whole bunch of PowerPoints already opened up. I'm going to click browse and I want to find the PowerPoint specific for this particular Teams call. You can look from your computer. You can also look on OneDrive. You can also browse teams and channels. So if you have a PowerPoint in OneDrive, you can very easily find it in your OneDrive folder. So let's say I want to present August 24th PowerPoint. Let's share. Now you'll notice it doesn't take up the whole screen like previously shown and it just comes up in presenter mode. I still see my people and participants on the side. Of course, I'm the only participant, but that's okay. If I wanted to see the participants, you would see their, their faces as well. Here are a couple other tips for presenting a PowerPoint on Teams. I guess you can see this little bad boy right here popping up. You will notice the eye icon here. What that means is that the people that are viewing your PowerPoint they see it and they can also scroll through the slides themselves or they can simply follow along with you the presenter if you do not want your participants to scroll through the powerpoint without you moving it forward you just click the eye icon and now you'll see up here 
only you can scroll through the PowerPoint. They don't have that option. But this is a great option if you are utilizing Microsoft Teams for your students and you have a couple students that are fast readers or they like to move ahead, then they can move ahead through the PowerPoint and start working on some of your assignments. It is your choice as the presenter to decide if you want others to move through the presentation on their own or follow along with you. So that's how you share a Microsoft PowerPoint on Teams without all the clutter.